Oh, yes. I am so ready to play this. You have a no clue. I'm ready for this. By the way, God, I love the soundtrack of these games. They're so good. They're so good. Um, all right. So I'm trying to... Let me know if I get this incorrect. But for those of you who have never seen Oxenfree or, or played this game, the best way I can describe it... And I'll try to do a summary of the first game for you. Oxenfree is the story of... I hope I don't forget anyone. Alex, Ren, and Jonas. I hope those are the names. They go to Edwards Island, which is like a fictional island off the coast of Pacific Northwest. And there they meet Clarissa and Nona. And I believe Clarissa is the girlfriend of Alex's deceased brother. That's like the setup. And they're going to go there and have like a beach party and get wasted on the beach. And um, apparently the island was once a military base where all sorts of weird shit happened. And the only person who lived on the island was an old lady named Maggie. And she dies kind of right before the game begins. And it's rumored that there were like strange things that you could find on the island. Like these strange frequencies that would um, broadcast weird shit. And people were like, let's go to the island and get wasted and try to find these weird frequencies. And, uh, spoiler, they cause supernatural events. And, of course, in the attempt to access these weird frequencies on the radio, they open kind of a gate <laughs> to some other plane of existence. And various spooky stuff happens, time loops and... All reality versions of themselves and like like the reflections in water talking back to them or people getting possessed. Weird stuff happens. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the whole thing for you, obviously. But uh, essentially, Alex um, fixes the rifts and the time loop gets everyone off the island. And in the end, they all agree never to talk about the experience again. There is a new game plus where... Alex can message herself in the past and be like, don't come to the island, bro. And you can literally New Game Plus it and be like, maybe we shouldn't go to the island. Uh, there's also a version where Alex goes to the island and is like, I've done all this before. Which I think is pretty interesting. I think that's a pretty fun kind of like goof they do. Um, yeah. Hopefully that is, hopefully that sums it up for you. It's very cool. Is it Oddballs? Oh, it's super Oddballs. If you ever watched the uh, pseudo D&D show I did, heavily inspired by this game. Absolutely. Yes, there was a sunken sub, and the people were trapped in the... There's a lot. I don't want to spoil it all for you, because a lot of it is like, go play the game. The first Oxen Free is phenomenal. Go play it. It had a really great ARG that literally ended, like it had number ciphers and weird websites and codes, and it all ended on a literal real island off the coast of Washington. So, very cool. I'm going to see if I can use controller for this. Whoop. Hell yes, I can. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's do this thing. I'm so excited. I hope top corner is where I should be. We'll find out real quick. Do the games connect? I don't know. I would imagine, but I have no clue. Hell yes, I'm already in. <laughs> oh my god. Um Let's go with it. Yeah. Okay, this might be a dream. It's probably a dream. Maybe it's a dream. Or, or it's a another uh. 
I don't know who Riley is. I assume this is a new character. It's nice to see all the things that they've learned from the previous games and have included in this. There's a lot of things I'm noticing right off the bat that I absolutely love. Oh, creepy house! But also, lore? No. Alright, we don't, we don't care about that. Can I go around it? Come on, that just says hello, and it's a creepy face, and it says lump, lump, bag 4S? Lump of gas? Foopilly? That's, this is, is this a code? What? I wouldn't care about lore either if it's pouring down rain. Hey! Hey. My Riley Wood. H Hello? Is anyone in here? All right. Well, no then. Is anyone up there? I mean, something is up there. <laughs> oh, shit! What the hell is... Um, where is this? Where am I? Bury me. Where you can't see one. <laughs> Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley, answer, please. Over. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm here. Hi. Hey. Hey, hi! Thank God! I didn't know if you'd be in range. I'm Evelyn, an environmental researcher with the lab. Uh, welcome to your first day on the job. Oh! I'm sure Leslie went over this stuff with you already during training and orientation, so forgive me if I... This is the radio that I got sent to me. You're just going to be planting transmitters along the coast to help us study anomalous frequencies. First of all, can you hear me okay? Over. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina's been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. 
They're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. Got it? Over. Got it. Okay. All right. That uh, makes sense, I think. I think I remember doing something like this in a high school science class. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Hopefully this sort of thing is interesting to you. Your transmitters and climbing gear, for the rocky terrain, are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? Uh, sure. Like how to use it, generally? I, I could actually use a refresher, if you don't mind. Not a problem, not a problem. So go ahead and look at your walkie. Looking. There are a lot of channels, as you can see. I'll always be on channel 7. So if you ever want to chat, just click over to that and say hi. But uh, let's let's hop over to channel 5 so you can see it working. Hey, Evelyn, I'm here. You there? Perfect. I'm your night watch, so I'll be on all night. Unless I'm using the bathroom or <laughs> taking a bug outside or something. All right, let, let, let's switch back to 7 so we're not crowding anyone else who could be using this channel. See you on 7. Hey, Evelyn, I'm back on 7. Over. Great. Hey, hi. So, uh, everything about the walkie-talkie makes sense? Yeah, You'll get the sense. hang of it as you go. Makes total sense. You're a good teacher. Uh, over. Oh, thanks. I try to be. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. I forgot. I forgot. If we're gonna do this, we gotta cosplay. Like we're from town. I got my Kamina hat. We got it. We got a cosplay like we're from here. Can I wait at the bus stop? Bus Last stop. Bus stop to Washington, they said. An hour from any town, they said. I just cannot believe I forgot my headphones. There's a ticket booth. I'm trying to figure out what else there is in this town. You have to forgive me for exploring. I love it. Does that say... Ava's got worms? Is that... <laughs> Is that what that says? Ava's got worms. Copper Creek Trail. Uptown Harbor. Right. Although I do want to go check out the trail, but also the up. There's a whole up area. Goodness. Tickets for the ferry to Edwards Island. Children under seven must be accompanied by an adult. I wonder how many lonely eight-year-olds want to spend their weekends touring bird colonies. I assume that's where we're gonna end up eventually. So that's the general store. That's where we need to go. Well, we all know I'm not going to do that. This building looks like Lewis and Clark could have slept here, but the uh, security's new. Maybe it's a meeting house now or something? Ooh, is that so? In the radio I was sent, a lot of stuff about a cult. I'm waiting for some uh, some cult stuff. Can I radio? Um, is, is anyone here? Over? Hi, this is a pre-recorded 
a message. You've reached the Kamina High School radio advice line. If you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Cute. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you. Have an okay day. Ah, so I need, when I get the radio, then I, 88.1. All right, so if I can connect with someone, something will pop up. Got you. Okay. Here's the real question. Oh, boy. All right. So is that the trail? Does the trail go back and around? I'm trying to figure out, figure out like, how it's all connected. Camber Cape. Some of these postings are pretty old. God, 20 bucks an hour for a babysitter? If she doesn't fly through the chimney with a school of singing penguins, that's a total ripoff. So I can't go this way yet. It's literally just like, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I won't. Really quickly, I want to check and see if we can go this other way. Probably should have done it at the beginning, but... I like to explore. Right. Okay. Boop. Boop. The music in these games is so good. Professional level tone setting. Huh. Doesn't look like anyone's here. I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. Hey, Evelyn. Is there, like, another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so... I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. He must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cave. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Uh, what about the climbing gear? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but what about the climbing gear? Don't I? D don't we need that? Well, if Jacob gets his truck fixed, that'll help mitigate the need. But regardless, we'll have you do a simple one tonight that doesn't require climbing. Tomorrow you can start on the bad boys. Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. That can't be right. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Those uh. readings don't make any sense. Hey, uh, Evelyn, is everything all right? Sorry, Riley, I gotta go, but uh, real quick, you have your map with you, right? Pull it out for a second. So, as you can see, there's a lot of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road, and you'll get there pretty quick. Okay, so I'm my assumption is we were headed off to Edwards Island, but I assume we are just on Kamina for now. I thought we were gonna get on the boat, that very suspicious boat, and head to the island, but I guess we're just here. Church of the Grand Architect? That's some cult shit. Mm-mm, son. Mm-mm, son, I see that. Okay. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. Closed. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? What is this? A flyer? 
Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars, blood, moon, tide. Huh. Nope. Gym teacher wanted. High school. Degree not required. Well, if this doesn't pan out, summer's off is always nice. Can I look at this again? Order three large pizzas at Zuki's Pizza and get two half off. Ooh. Wait, I just had one free pizza. And why is this making me so angry? Because <laughs> it's a lot of pizza. I hate the missing kids posters. They used to really freak me out. At least when I was a kid. Town. We gotta get over here. I'm sure this will be fine. Lucy Pasterson, age seven, born 1979. This has been up for a while. <sighs> Hope you ran away to California, kid. No, no, it's not. Where the hell is that stupid kid? Hey, uh, so sorry, but are you... Jacob, Jacob Summers. Oh, hey, yeah, I, I'm Jacob, which makes you, uh, Riley? Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of, <laughs> this is embarrassing. I, I can't get my truck to start. Yeah, this uh, was going to be our ride around town for the job, but she might be on her last legs. Oh, God, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault, right? Or maybe it is. <laughs> You know it takes gasoline in the little hole over there, right? Oh, that's what that meter with all the slashes means. Seriously, though, I have no idea. G can we can we try something real quick? The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? I'm trying to see if it's the uh, starter or the battery. <laughs> sure, what the hell? Oh, thanks. It's just, I don't know what the issue is. Oh, okay. Uh, tur turn it off. Back. Well, <laughs> thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. I can't even pretend. Oof. Sorry, dude. That sucks. Ah, it's all right. She gave me eight crappy years, which was more than I expected. Anyway, you help me out. I think we can call time of death on this one. Oh, I think that's our, uh, bosses doing a check-in. Want to answer that? Hey, Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman <laughs> regularly, but we were lucky to Jake's get Jake's great. Us. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? Uh, uh, not yet, Evelyn. Jacob's truck was struck down by a mysterious illness. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. Uh, kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, it's a lot easier with a ride, but I know folks that do the hike for their morning warm-up. We're going to Camber Cape? That's... it's not far. It's... it's a hike. Yeah. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Riley, I'm strapped for space, so, uh, could you grab the transmitter? It's right there on the blanket. Thanks. Oh, uh, okay. This thing? I think I have the space. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. Then why even say that? 
It's the long pole, right there. Huh. Neat. Look at this future Watch pole. Tonight, and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. <laughs> I held it aloft. Okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? Uh, no, Before no I questions. Get some dinner? I don't think I have any questions, no. All right, guys. Good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. Okay. Over and out. Uh, Riley, real quick before we go. You see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, sure thing. That would be helpful. I would be helpful. Right What is, is the radio the other trigger? Oh, thanks. Hey, try it out. Yep. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Oh, just like the radio I received. Nice. Go check out that video. Yeah, it, it should be on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just give me a sec. But also. <laughs> 93. 93.7. Son of a. Bottom of the now 10. That's the hat I have. I used to watch crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. But uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Okay, well, also, our foot camber cape is up this way. Shouldn't take too long. So, uh, Evelyn, she's, she's a little funny, right? She ran me through the job a week ago, and she's definitely a character. Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up around them. But that particular breed of small town, something... I'm a little nostalgic for it. <laughs> yeah. N not that it's a bad thing. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but, but when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well, do, do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class, and, uh... E.E. fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty. You know, Butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. G good to see you. <laughs> yeah, you too. So, uh, okay. hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first day on the job topics. I'm what you call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures, building a deck. But I signed up for this partly because of how weird everything's been. It, it's, it's why I brought the radio, actually. Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. What super strange stuff? Super strange stuff? I, like more than just foreign stations bouncing off a satellite somewhere? Uh, yeah, way more. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audio-visual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. I'm curious if we'll get readings from the island. Audio-visual phenomena? Like, uh, what? Yeah, it's hard to explain. When tuned to the right signal, a radio would sort of charge up stuff in the environment. It didn't make sense. I mean, people investigated it to no real determination or whatever. The effects, though, that radio effects has kind of bled from the island to around here now. But I, I'm sorry, I'm just into this stuff. Super nerd techie. Hold on, mister. But I've been talking my head off ever since we've been. God, okay. What's, uh, what brought you Bro, back? I'm trying to mess with the radio. <sighs> Is it temporary or? I, I just needed a reset, I think. I've been, in hindsight, I haven't really planted roots in any one place or in any one thing or in anybody, even, really. And it's not like I can get away with that forever. Especially now. Oh, no, I hear you. I'm, I'm kind of the opposite. I never left. Never really explored or... I, I mean, I've been on trips and stuff. But nowhere else really stuck like Kamina. But you stayed because you like it, right, Kamina? I am content. But you'd never know how content you'd be if you did things differently, right? 
Okay. <laughs> so Jenny, in short, if you really want to drop trig, just go ahead and drop it. We invented calculators way back when Shakespeare was around. We don't yeah. need to know our tables. Okay, everyone, welcome to the Kamina High School Radio Advice Line. With some arbitrarily chosen musical tracks approved by Principal Haddish, our advice line is now open, so bring on those questions. I'll happily steer you through these confusing times we call our lives. Go to Channel 8 on your radios or walkie talkies and chat with me, please. That's Channel 8. Okay, let's hear local dumbasses with Mouse in the House. I'm in. Channel 8, let's go. Hey, uh, is this the Kamina High School radio station? This is Riley, first time caller, first time listener. Uh, can I get some advice? Over. <laughs> hey, uh, hi. Uh, yeah, what, uh, what do you want? Just general life coaching or, uh, something more specific? Mm. Will I be good at this job? Will I be good at this? Am I gonna finally be actually good at something? That wasn't a very yeah, specific I, I question. So. Here's some real advice, though. If you see three teenagers at the docks tonight, running around with radios, wearing masks, tell them Maria thinks they're assholes. Also, call back if you want to talk about anything. Like, anything at all. You're the first fresh caller in a week. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Please call. Can I just call immediately? No. <laughs> That's it. That's all I really want to talk to you about. All right. Thanks, Maria. And that which we cannot see yet. Life is an ocean of light and dark. Light guides us through the day. Dark washes over us as we sleep. Light and dark, seen and the unseen. Bro, what? What? Will you be like me? Luna does not shine. She is shined upon. She swims through lightless water, stopping only when spotted and seen. Uh, pardon? Who is she as she sails past the stars in darkness and the unseen? Who is anyone? Who would you be inside the <laughs> and the light That's the latest from the Luna Cult! At 89.8 The Cult C-U-L-T And these words of pure poetry are not my own, but here you go Weird crap in the sky and it might be disrupting broadcasts, so Back soon, hopefully Pray for clear skies 91.4, the potluck The potluck? Stop At the game. Looking locally, it's it's been a tough season for the Mud Bucks. Nope. Sponsored by Headley Textiles. When you need fabric, make sure it's Headley. Tonight's performance is from a local Kamina playwright and is called A History of Almond Trees. It begins Roman and Janus are Nope. <laughs> what was the cult channel? 98. Eighty-nine. Eighty-nine point eight. Okay. What's this way? Oh! Ow! Oh! Sorry. Uh, the rocks are a little slippery. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You big nerd. Oh, wait, sorry. The, the, the path splits here. Uh, the right is for more experienced hikers. Can we take the longer path on the left? Yeah. It'll take an extra minute, but... Okay. Uh, sure thing. Left path it is. I got time. Great. Thanks. Large onion. Large onion. Trail, day hiking and biking only, sunrise to sunset. Wapiti means deer. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. Uh, it means elk, actually. Actually, it means elk. Elk are mountainous, deer are grasslands. And Wapiti is an Americanization of a Cree word for elk. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. I want to see if this is the the... Is this the hard path? Am I gonna be at the top of it? Is there anything special at the top of the hard path? Nope, just the hard path. Okay. <laughs> no, we're not, can I go back? Okay. I mean, I guess going down's easier. Oh, you wanna, you're gonna go this way still. I don't wanna slow you up, so I'll, I'll just meet you further up the trail then. See you in a bit. I'll just awkwardly follow behind you. We're just... This is like we said goodbye and then went the same direction. But I don't want to make it weird, so I'm going to walk a little behind you. Decided to take the easy way. That's nicer, right? Yeah, I took one step and thought, if I bang my knee into something and make this poor guy run and get first aid, I'm gonna look like the biggest jerk. So. Oh, well, I'm glad none of that happened. That's like kind of fun. Used to say, why spend the sweat? Slow up. Be careful around those logs. 
Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. But you seem okay. Just take one step at a time. Oh, hey! What's this creepy altar? What's this? Oh, that? We have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's a group in town that performs, uh, nature rituals. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. This could be them. Nature rituals. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it could. Question. Can I hold up? Hold up. It's always a little tricky. Uh. Need help? Oh my god. If I got up to the top of here and oh, wait, there were stairs? There's a bench over here. <laughs> yeah, no. Can we just take a quick second? 100%, my dude. If I got up here, I'd be like, no. Are you kidding me? Feet. Eh, sound like I'm 80, but... Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break, too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> Turned out to be a really nice night. Yeah, it, uh, it is. <laughs> so awkward. Feels honestly a little like tornado weather. Which, they don't really happen in Oregon, you know? Maybe it's a sign. Uh, a sign of what? A tornado? Yeah, that. Or something else. All right. Thanks for the stop. Help me catch my breath. All right, we're getting close. Just over the crust, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. Hours, sunrise to sunset. Used to be open till like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Closed. Locked. And locked. Damn it. The hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe oh. we should call Evelyn. Tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. Or we call Evelyn. Or I talk to Sorry, Jacob. Sorry, this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they locked parts of the park up after hours. Okay. Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed. Or locked. The way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's... Not ideal. See if you can, um, I don't know. Stupid small town crap. I'll bet the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. We gotta get that thing placed up top, so, uh, get creative. Over and out. I mean, I can't... I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Don't forget about Mercer. 
What the hell's MRSA? Uh, what the hell is MRSA? Oh, it's just just another uh, infection, another kind of infection. Looks like the lock's on the other side. Huh. I'd say let me boost you over, but that barbed wire says otherwise. All right, we climbing, dude. Let's go. Pro climbs. This or nothing. Oh, well, that works too. It is a, uh, a proper climb, though. Eh, it's not as hard as it looks. Just find your foot before you grip. Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so, uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Uh, f figuratively. Oh, come on, it's fun. Good challenge, you know? I'll happily take your word for it. I'm come Aloy up over here. Your top side. Look at this jump. Get out of town. Yo! how pretty it can be up here. Riley, are you at the summit? Over. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good. Over. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. Question, actually. Oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. I'm gonna assume that I have to do this alone for maximum spookiness, but I'm gonna go down and see if I can open this just to be safe. You doubted me? Not for a moment. Hell yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Up we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Well, you grew up here, right? You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Kanaloa? It was a, uh, you know, a casualty of war, right? The USS Kanaloa was the only American submarine down in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, during World War II. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire, that we accidentally bombed our own sub. Uh, why would anyone think that? Oh, I don't know. Little discrepancies, little things, details of the story not hitting exactly right. Sometimes things just aren't what they seem, you know? Oh, I'm aware. Oh, I'm aware. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're willing to bend your brain a bit, there's always the other, other story. Uh, go on. Do you believe in ghosts? Um, yeah. Sure. Some people, maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Kanaloa got lost on the way to the light, let's say. Hmm, they should make that a story. Why not make that the official story? The tourism boom from amateur ghost hunters alone is... Well, few have heard the story, and even fewer believe it. But, uh, I don't know. It, it makes sense if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? I mean, Edwards Island is a weird place. You go there, and it's like your feet never really touch the ground. Couple that with an at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster, and you have yourself the recipe for a proper ghost story. 
Eh, don't know. Your mileage may vary, I guess. Look, I can believe it. I've seen crap that's hard to explain, impossible to explain even. So, hey, you tell me a downed submarine crew haunts the coast of Kamina, I won't argue. You're kind, but let's be realistic. But hey, ghosts, no ghosts, wartime accident, or a heroic defeat. At least we can both agree that it gets too friggin' cold out here. Jesus. Oh, I barely feel my feet. <laughs> Wimp. But I guess I'm not used to night hikes. <laughs> oh, agreed. I'm freezing. It's a little weather-worn, but this is nice. They used to have one of those coin-operated binocular things up here. But someone kept sticking gum over the eye holes. Really lost its luster. Oh, whoa. See that? Over Edwards Island. Oh, that storm cloud looks nuts. Oh, yeah. We don't usually get skies like this. That very green cool. storm crowd. It's weird, right? Yeah, that doesn't look great. Kind of foreboding, right? Yeah, maybe. We might want to do this quick. Okay, so the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. Man, you're really nailing the jargon. Hey, thanks. That's uh, three years of online adult education courses talking. Uh, I think you just have to point it so it catches the signal. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Just uh, give it a sec here. Yeah, it's working great. I uh, think. Yeah, so should we call Evelyn? Maybe check with her if it's working? Oh, uh, yeah, good, good idea. Hey, uh, Evelyn, we did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. The signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Oh, uh, hold up one second. Okay. This is a little weird. Uh, guys, tell me what color is the little light blinking? Cause... Uh... Jesus! Wait, what is that? Do you see that? Over Edwards Island? Riley, did you know... Is this... Is this right? Riley! What's going on? The readings are a little... Weird... Over here. Uh, Riley, is this normal? It's reacting... Something. Riley! Turn off the transmitter! It's... What? It's, just turn What's it off! What's saying? Yo, it's the kids in the mask. Portal. Something's wrong with it. Oh, I was almost there. What is that touching it? Is it lightning? What? Wait. There, there's someone here. What the Who hell is, is she? She did something. She, whatever she did, fried our antenna. Mom, come on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you. Right? Hey, where are we? What? What? Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. <laughs> Riley, answer, please. Over. Wait, what? Hey, hi. Thank God. I didn't know if you'd be in range. I'm Evelyn, a new researcher with the lab like you. This is the start of my fourth week, actually. I'm by Oval Beach. It's about 20 miles out, but I can hear you okay, surprisingly. Can you hear me? 
Over. Riley, how are you hearing me? I'm... Evelyn, I, I think something's wrong. D didn't this already all happen? Didn't... what already happen? The... uh... did Leslie give you the instructions? Or... Evelyn, tell me you remember calling me already and giving me all the info. I went up to the summit, placed the transmitter, remember? Went to the summit? That's what you're saying? This is... your first day with us, right? And you just landed in Kamina. I'm sorry, maybe I have the wrong person? Evelyn, just... it's just that everything is wrong, or... or I don't know, maybe I... It's okay, Riley, I'll... Uh, let's... let's get through the instructions here, and maybe we can circle back. You're going to be, uh, placing transmitters? That's, uh, that's the, the job. In your backpack, you'll find most of your equipment. Should be four transmitters and a test radio. Now, here's where I confess that I completely messed up and I totally forgot to pack your climbing gear. I'm choosing to blame the unforeseen hangover, but... The general store's closed, Evelyn. I get there too late. It's closed? Oh, shoot. Well, can you still head over and knock on the door? It would help me out a ton if they can just let you grab the equipment real quick. Sounds good? Talk to you soon. Over and out. I don't have the radio yet. Oh, interesting. Hold on. No, I do have the radio. But I can't access my walkie-talkie again? What was that noise? Okay. Yeah, I can't uh, access the walkie talkie right now. Cool. So cool. Ah, uh, damn it. This isn't the right time yet. Hey, kid, can you can you help me? You I, I think keep I'm away. Keep away from all of this. For your own good. This isn't for you. Just who are you? What are you doing? Just leave it alone. Don't don't listen to them. Don't do anything. Stay back. Hey, wait. I'm in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley, answer, please. Over. Evelyn, there was there was some kid breaking into the general store. Uh, sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I just wanted to tell you that, actually, man, have you ever gotten deja vu? A serious case of it right now. Yeah, I, I think we keep repeating this same moment. I'm, I'm not sure, but Riley, uh, are you still there? You're getting battered. Riley, uh -huh. Evelyn, can you, can you, you can't hear me or? Come on, uh, boys, <laughs> come out to play. The moon does shine as bright as day. Come with a hope. Come with a call. Come with goodwill. Or not at all. Who is this? Can I? No, I can't access it. All right. Radio.
Oh. Oh no. Okay. But our antenna, it, it broke. They planted the beacon thing and it ruined everything. Got overworked. I'll have to, to repair it. Yo. Re rebuild it or no. somehow or well. So wait, these kids are working with them? What the hell just happened? Stop! Yo, so... Timeouts, so there's already a group of teens communicating with the ghosts on Edwards Island. And they're trying to help them in some way. Maybe? But is... I have no clue what's happening right now. I love this. What is that? Over here! This definitely wasn't here before, right? Right. Stop. This way, or is it gonna? It's gonna. Yep, son of a biscuit. Did I do something wrong? I mean, okay, clearly I did something wrong, but what? So it's gonna keep me on track. But I did the I did the machine. That's good. I guess. General store is burnt down. We have machine two. that right oh 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 bro stop what I feel like whatever that was stopped because of that machine, or uh, I don't know. God, I hope Jacob's okay. Maybe he went back to his truck. This is going to be okay. The forest is the town of trees, where they live quite at ease, with their neighbors at their side, just as we in cities wide. Pardon? Is this my, oh, that's not it. What is my... There's my map. There's my notes. Okay. Channel 8. Something super weird. Yeah. Hit that DJ up. Oh, hold on. Hello? Um, hello? Is anyone there? Evelyn? Echo? Echo? Whatever. Piece of... Oh, wait. It's... God damn it. It's cracked. Huh, great. I really need to get a working walkie and call Evelyn back. She'll... She better know what the hell is going on. These damn kids got nothing for me, huh? Okay. Come in a radio station with your fearless host, Maria Lopez. Pulling the overnighter tonight because Kyle, my partner in crime, got sick. Or at least claims he got sick. 
I know he also just finished rebuilding his Akai 81A track and is probably just recording different talks around town. Anyways, I'll be your guiding light tonight, my lovely little moths. So, let's kick the next hour off with another song, right? Here's a something, I don't know. You can see, and that which we cannot see, yet, life is an ocean of light and dark. Light guides us through the day, dark. Cool. Super cool! For disciples of parentage, the question is asked, will you be seen? Will you be light? Or will you be that can be harder to find than your standard grain. It's right. called parboiled rice. It's about 50-50 for me finding it in the supermarket, but you can usually find it online. No other rice will do. It's either parboiled or go order takeout. Tricky part, part two. If you look at a bowl of arroz, a similar dish by Aya, you'll notice that the rice is yellow. Now, purist will tell you that this color comes from adding saffron, which will get the job done. But given the fact that I'm hosting a late night cooking show for a small pack that we see side village, my bank account barely has a single comma. And saffron is literally the most expensive spice in the world. So what you should look for instead is ground annatto. There are a few brand name versions of it, but you'll have to do your own research for that. Ground annatto is considerably cheaper, easy enough to find, thanks again, internet. In my opinion, is indistinguishable from using actual saffron. Come at me, Big Saff. I'm not afraid. Anyway, he was found dead three days later. Stop! Yo, he's time looping too? That is a hell sound. back over to hopefully hopefully Jacob is like I don't know I don't know so now it's t an hour has gone by Your path, that's your path. And that was 
same bond which has hitherto united us. Oh. Ah, Christ! Hey, Jesus! Good Lord, that... I'm sorry, you scared me. Whew. Gotta get my heart a second. You scared me, are you kidding? Oh, God. Sorry. Oh my God. R Riley, this is... I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? I, I was... We were planning the transmitter. Some lights came out of it. There was a... Oh, wait, there was a, a giant triangle in the sky above Edwards, right? Did that... Yeah, that... That, that happens. That... Oh, man. Are you... Okay? You seem... Alive. Which is maybe more than I can say for myself right now. I am... Many... Many miles from feeling... Okay. Yeah. Me too. Well, wait. Are, are we talking physically or mentally? Ah! Yeah! Hey, guys! Are you there? Oh, it's... It's Evelyn. Jesus. Oh, man. Thank God. It's only Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn, we're, we're here. Did, did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it, 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 it kind of knocked us out for a bit, but we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't, we don't know what happened. D do you? Over. Oh, jeez, guys, I, I don't, I honestly don't think it was lightning. I, I don't have eyes over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing, right now. Uh, oh, really? Well, if, if, if you could see what's going on. <sighs> okay, Evelyn, uh, this is Riley. What do you need us to do? You need to go back to the transmitter and tell me what it's doing, while we still have time. Time to do what? It's time for us to figure out what's going on, before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. Don't worry, Evelyn, we're up for it. We're here, aren't we? Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half. And medical. In case our damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. <laughs> Just please double time it and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. Here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too. This should work. Uh, thanks. Look, I, I know this really sucks what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. But but it seems extremely bad is all I can muster right now. And we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. So I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter. And this feels like it matters, right? So if it's up to us to do this, then Man, Jacob, I, I really love to believe that. Well, you should. If only for the next hour or so. It helps, trust me. Look. My Riley is here to do a job. Speaking of, before we continue... <laughs> Wrong thing. No, no Maria? Come on. Wait, wait. Violet, Listen. you there? That's... Their transmitter knocked everything out of whack. The reverberation destroyed our antenna. We... We need to repair it. We... I almost had it. They were talking, but we were talking. Ugh. Charlie, come in. Violet, where are you? Let's just listen in for a second. Guys, I I think I'm lost. I'm at somewhere by the cliffs. I think she's by the cave system. Charlie, Violet. Violet. What happened? Where did everybody go? Charlie, where are you? Over. I'm, I think I'm by the ranger station. Pointilia. That's not far from here. I can get another receiver to fix the antenna. Hurry. 
And Violet, stay put. Charlie and I will get you later, okay? Hearth and Cinder, catch squirrels if you can. Over and out. That doesn't sound good. What? They sound young. Oh. You have any idea who they could be? Uh, I, I don't know. One of them sounds familiar, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe we could ask, like, hey, Maria, do you know, fellow teens, who hangs out with Violet and Charlie? We can, like, do one of those pinpoint triangle things, you know what I mean? We can A square plus B square and find the hypotenuse of teenage crime. Right? I think that's how that works. No rest? All right. I'm gonna make the assumption that this is open. Great, it is. Let's let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. Can't wait to get up to the top of here. When the music changes like Come this, on. that's not a good. Yep, right behind you. Let's go. This, uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. You see that? What the hell is that? That giant thing in the sky. That's a huge light show. It looks like, like a giant hole in the sky. How is that possible? Is the transmitter really affecting it? It's beaming some kind of energy to it, but... Riley, this is gonna sound... I, I, I don't know, but this is all... I've heard about this. Someone told me this was possible years ago she no one really believed her yo 30 40 years ago she knew what jacob who are you talking about wait riley do you do you hear that there's uh hear what you don't hear that 30 40 years ago it sounds like it, it sounds like kids Can I cut this? Oh no. Is he talking about Maggie? Did he know Maggie? Jacob? Jacob, can can you hear me? No, my. It it sounds does that sound like a, a radio? What is going on? Shake him. Oh, they want me to turn the radio on. Gotcha.
phone number. Number two. And if someday you lose your way, you know just what to do. Right? Yeah. Wait, who? Who is this? Marco. Uh. Oh. Hey, you hear what I said? Miss? Bar's closing. You gotta go home. Hey! Anyone know her? Anyone what? friends with this woman? What's Anyone? That? No? Do I have to call somebody? I didn't even do anything, okay? What are you coming at me for? What am I coming at you for? You haven't even paid your tab yet. Hey! Wait, buddy. You were talking to her earlier. <laughs> I love these games so much. <laughs>